Example 3 in STAT 101 Examples Class 3, Linear Regression using the tourist data, the file is on the STAT 101 webpage. The question, is there a relationship between the total number of overseas visitors and the tourist accommodation occupancy rate? Excel file, the tourist data is in the STAT 101 webpage as we say. So we use Excel to find the equation of the linear regression line interpret the value of the slope and the intercept. How much of the variation in the occupancy rate can be explained by the model? The linear regression equation, as you remember, y is beta naught plus beta 1 x. Beta naught is our intercept, beta 1 is our slope. In this example, considering the x's and y's, how much of the variation in occupancy rate can be explained by the model? Y is the one we want to predict. So the occupancy rate is Y. And we will be explaining this by the model or the X values, which are the tourist accommodation number of overseas visitors. Going into Excel, making sure that data and data analysis are available. If not, just go in to the Office button, click the Excel options, use the add-ins, press go, make sure the analysis tool pack and the second one are also ticked. Data analysis will then be available. Highlighting our data. X is our arrivals, that's our first column. Y is the occupancy rate, that's our second column. Highlighting all the data and selecting a chart. Insert a scatter chart this time. It's quantitative data, it's a scatter chart, not a line graph as you would for time series. Changing our axis titles and our chart title as usual, and deleting the series one. On the X, we will have visitor arrivals per month. That's our predictor. And using our predictor to predict our Y value, our occupancy rate average per month. So using our model to predict the occupancy rate. Always plotting the data to check whether linear regression is appropriate. Have we got a positive or a negative association between our two variables? Can we fit a line, a line of best fit, through the points? In this case, there appears to be a positive relationship between the occupancy rate and the visitor arrivals. As X increases, Y is also increasing. So linear regression is appropriate We're using data, data analysis, and choosing the regression option from the list. Clicking OK. Excel asks for the Y values, the occupancy rate in this case, selecting that set of data. Then Excel asks for the X values, input X range, our first column, our total arrivals, highlighting this column for the X values. Checking where to put the output, selecting a clear cell, Excel will put the output when we click OK. Our summary output from Excel are regression statistics at the top left and our coefficients to find the equation of the line of best fit through the points at the bottom left. Intercept and X variable 1, the intercept and the slope are beta naught and beta 1. Y is beta 0 plus beta 1 times x. Selecting the coefficients from here, y is beta 0, 21.34 to two decimal places, 3439 to four decimal places, beta 1, 8.8966, e negative 05. 8.89 times 10 to the negative 5, 
which is a very, very small number. Four zeros after the decimal point, eight nine. Zero point zero 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 eight nine for our beta one. Very small positive gradient on our line. Back to the question. Interpreting our equation, the equation from the Excel output, y is 21.34 plus 8.9 times 10 to the minus 5 times x. Putting this into context, always selecting the y and the x for the problem. y the occupancy rate and x the visitor arrivals. Rewriting the equation, the occupancy rate is 21.34 plus 8.9 times 10 to the minus 5 times the number of visitor arrivals. Interpreting both the value of the slope and the intercept, starting with the intercept beta naught, 21.34 in this example. This means when there are no visitor arrivals, the occupancy rate is 21.34%. The intercept, the value where our line crosses the y-axis. x is 0, no visitor arrivals, the occupancy rate would be 21.34. Even with no visitors arriving, still requires an occupancy rate of 21.34%. Secondly, the slope, beta 1. This means for a one unit increase in visitor arrivals, the occupancy rate increases positive slope, so it increases by 0.000089%. So for every unit increase in x, we expect beta 1 increase in y. For every unit increase in our visitor arrivals in this example, our occupancy rate increases by 0.00089%. Moving on to the looking at the variation, the question asked how much of the variation in the occupancy rate can be explained by the model? The Excel output the value we're looking for is the R square value, the coefficient of determination. R square. Coefficient of determination. R square in this example, 0.36. And this means our model explains 36% of the variation in the occupancy rate. We're using X to predict Y. The visitor arrivals explain 36% of the variation in the occupancy rate. The model or the visitor arrivals explain 36% of the variation in the occupancy rate. Being careful, of course, not to confuse the coefficient of determination r squared with the multiple r figure. And that's the end of this example, end of example three.